So here we have a man by the name of Alan Weaver from Georgia, a business owner <coughs> nonetheless, that uh, gave his take that if you eliminate the problem, uh, you don't have to worry about living in a society where they take away all the guns. Because uh, if you take away all the guns, he claims blacks will take over. Now, <coughs> his math is off, right? Because, uh, you know, according to the United States, which remember, the United States is nothing but a corporation. If you don't believe me, it's Title 28 USC Code, uh, Section 15A. You look it up, you can get it on Cornell University or any law dictionary. United States means a federal corporation. It is not a nation. It is a federal corporation. That federal corporation, though, is run by colors, color of law. You ever notice when a cop pulls you over, he doesn't say, oh, I got one American in custody. Nope. Does he say, oh, I have a, 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 a um, what was the other thing? Um, oh, I have um, one European. Nope. He doesn't say, oh, I have, a, I have one Italian. No, 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 no. He doesn't use nationalities. The guards for the corporation, which are your cops, cops, what, citizen on patrol, right? <clears throat> they never say, hey, I have a nationality in custody. They say, I have a color in custody. One black male, one black female, one white male, one white female, right? Only time they use that is when they talk about Asians, right, and Native Americans, right? But they're not the ones that were set up in this country to begin with. That's what they're hiding from you. <laughs> See, they came, they came to this land as slaves, and they've overthrew their slave master. That's what's being hidden. You don't believe me? Get the books. White Cargo. I, I didn't write the book. A white author wrote it, and he tells you all the history of white slavery and how the history of white slaves far outweighed the history of so-called black slaves. He even tells you that there was <laughs> that the black slavery almost didn't even exist. It was an it's a fiction. <clears throat> Which only confirmed what I what I was starting to discover was that they started taking the Indians. I didn't say Native Americans, I said the Indians and they started converting them into slaves. That's where they had the whole if you catch 20 Indians you could avoid going to war having to serve in the service, right? Uh, what was it, the Revolutionary War? I think that was for Texas. If it was for um, Alabama, not what was it, because the law started in Virginia. If you caught, what was it, five Indians, right? <laughs> now what would you do with you when you caught them anyways? But you caught five Indians, you didn't have to go to war. So it incentivized you to keep catching as many Indians as possible. Didn't they tell you, oh, uh, um, if you had so many Negroes, those Negroes counted for uh, twice the vote that you had? So your whole goal is to keep as many Negroes as property. And that's what Negro means in law, property. It doesn't mean black person in law. <clears throat> so the caste system was set up. The same caste system that's in, that was set up in India, right? If you have pale skin, you're on top. If you have dark skin, you're on the bottom. You're the untouchables. Come to North America, same thing set up. If you're white, you're on top, which they're not white. White in, in legalese, if you study law in America, white is a, is a status meaning you are upright, you are righteous, you are in good standing. If you are black, black, doesn't have no, black has no standing at law. There's nothing on the books in law for black people. You are a fiction. You are a ghost. You do not exist. Oh, actually, a ghost exists more than you. You do not exist. That's why you're killed with impunity. They told you in the Dred Scott case, right? There are, there are no laws or rights that a, uh, of a black man that a white man has to respect. They weren't talking about, oh, 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 oh you, you have laws that you know we're ignoring. <laughs> you don't have any laws on the books. Obama told you that when he got on the Tom Jordan morning show. He said, I'm not the first black president. Black has no standing at law. It's a pyramid. It's a color scheme. What did the Bible say? He said, you will go from being the head and you will become the tail. <laughs> so listen to this. Alan Watt, business owner in Atlanta.
it'll ever load. And like I said, it's Forest LaGrange, Georgia. They'd be some law here, and it would be my law. Or either I'd die. And I'd, I'd probably wind up dying anyway, but I mean, my thing is, and because they did away with the guns, blacks would take over. Like on Lafayette Court, you go down through there, you know, and it is. And you go all these other different places, and you kill every one of them. Women, children, babies, you kill them all. Go to the hospital, you kill them all. And, um, like I said, they, but you do away with the problem. And then you got a town that, no, you know, the National Guard wants to come in, you know, I, they'll wind up killing you, but. <laughs> now, don't they say that the um, that the United States is only made up of thirteen percent African Americans? Oop, there we go. That seventy was it seventy something percent are white. Now, what I've learned about that too is that it's not all what you think uh, when they say seventy seventy percent of the United States population is white. Because what I found out was that mulattoes. In cases, if the mother doesn't classify them as black, then they're classified as white. Uh, what was it? Latins. Latins shown that they, there's a problem that when they come to America, America classifies them as white, not Latin. <clears throat> but we found out that when you actually read the definition from the census, what is white, what is Latin, Latin falls under white. It says uh, what white is uh, anyone that claims to be of a European nation. North African nation or Middle East nation. Some Middle Easterners that come over here are considered white. Not Middle Eastern, not, not, not any of the nations that they came from. Because it's a color system they put in place here. They use color of law. That which you think is law, but it's not based in law. See, uh, uh, what, was it? what was it, speeding limits? That's not law. Because laws come from the Constitution. If you cannot find anything in the Constitution that says anything about speeding, that it's not a law, what they've done is they put a code on you and you are, and you are supposed to respect these codes because you are a United States citizen. You have nothing in your possession that says you're an American. Show me. Your voting registration, does it say you're an American voter? No, you're a United States voter. Your birth certificate, all it says was that something came into this world on this day but the creation of it was when it was filed. And it's filed on bond paper, which means that you are someone's property. Bonds and stocks on the stock market. <laughs> you have a social security number, which then makes you uh, uh, a beneficiary of the trust. When really you were supposed to be the executor of the trust. But I mean, that's trust law, which means you're also a member of the United States military who put together the Social Security Act. So study. <clears throat> and if I'm wrong, prove it. Show me where you have a document that says you are an American. Show me where you ever recorded anything on the county, state, whatever level that says, hey, I'm not a United States citizen, I'm an American. You've never done any of this stuff because you were never told to. You were never taught that in school.